What's up guys, this is Boondocks, and today I want to talk about a build for Frost that isn't a snow globe build. Instead it's going to be the Freeze Mage or Control Mage build. So, a lot of the times when you're playing Frost, you're kind of stuck doing a very sedentary role of put down Ice Bobble, wait inside Ice Bobble, protect whatever the fuck it is that needs protecting. What the hell? Wow, that's Bubble's fucking huge. Um, if you want to play a a style that's a little bit different instead more for supporting your team as you're going through say a survival or trying to go through an area where you're gonna have to constantly keep moving that type of thing well then there's another option and that's gonna be more of the control mage so I'm just gonna spawn five level 75 corrupted heavy gunners and come down here cast my ice wave and now they are going to be slow as shit. Not only do they move slow, but they're also going to shoot slow. And because of that, they become very easy targets that are going to have some serious trouble trying to kill you. As you can see, that one guy's just popping shots off at me, but not that big of a deal. All you need to do is drift behind the side here, and I'm good to go. Now this build is perfect if you want to try getting Argon Scope to work on different weapons, testing it out. Or if you want to play more of a sniper type character, I hate snipers, which is why I'm using the Dexabaris instead, just because it's my closest option to show, hey, headshots become really fucking easy. So for this build to work, it's pretty much all just power range and duration with a little bit of efficiency in there. And as you can see, the range becomes ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and you can also kind of tell where the effect lands by this kind of sheen on the ground and from where I cast it way up on top it reached all the way over here and it fires off at a 60 degree angle so that means it probably would have reached pretty much at this angle right here and because of that this ability is ridiculous and it looks pretty cool with all the giant ice spikes coming out of the ground yeah just look at this angle this entire area is frozen over, and any enemies that walk on it would be slowed. How do you slow them? Well, you need a syndicate mod called Ice Wave Impedance. And basically, this is going to leave that trail for 12 seconds, which will, of course, increase the time based off of how much power duration you have. So with that being said, I only have 173% power duration increase, which will give me, what, um, an additional... 8.5 seconds give or take so this will last for just about 20 seconds after casting it outside of that in order to get it as large as possible I'm going to use cunning drift along with overextended and stretch this is going to give me that maximum 250 power range allowing me to get that ridiculous spread additionally in order to make that duration last a little bit longer instead of just 12 seconds I'm going to use prime continuity and constitution if you don't have a prime continuity it's not that big of a deal in order to cast it more often, I'm going to use my Primed Flow along with Streamline. Now, if you don't have a Primed Flow, it can be a little bit annoying because Frost's base energy is only 300 once you have a maxed out flow on it. And because of that, he's going to run out really damn quick, especially with only the 30% power efficiency bonus. So that can be slightly annoying and understandably so. But if you can have an energy siphon and or Xenric active, you can pretty much spam this for days and cover all four cardinal directions, preventing enemies from ever reaching you. I am also going to use a redirection because he has a decent amount of shields to begin with, as you see, 525. So once you put on a redirection, he's going to be considerably tankier. There is an alternative way of building this, however, because as you might see right now, my avalanche, while it will freeze enemies for 13.8 seconds, which is a great oh shit button in case you get surrounded, well, it's only going to reduce enemy armor by 16% and do pretty much no damage at all. Now, while this isn't going to be modding avalanche to do a damage setup, it will, however, kind of spread out your stats overall. So now your power duration is only going to give you, <clears throat> excuse me, it's only going to give you like an extra, what is that? three seconds not even three seconds bringing this to just shy of 15 and the range is going to be a little bit shorter but because we're now at 120 percent power strength and thanks to using transient fortitude as you can see 
this is going to bring my armor shred to 48%, as well as still being able to freeze enemies for almost 10 seconds. So the idea here is if you're going up against a heavily armored target, you can freeze them, shred them down, and then go back to casting your Ice Wave. The problem with this is because you're not going to be able to build for huge amounts of efficiency like you can in the Snow Globe build, this is going to cost you a whole shit ton in order to actually use your Avalanche over and over again, as it's still going to cost 70 energy, which is why I recommend just using the Slowing build and be good to go. One other thing is this build is amazing against any type of uh, melee attacking enemies. Unfortunately, as you can see, I haven't scanned any uh, infested so and so we're just going to use these Draka fuckers and we'll simulate all them. And oh shit, as you might know, these guys can be a serious pain in the ass. So let's uh, re-simulate them. So we'll just hop down here and just kind of cast off in all directions and holy shit look at that even as they walk onto the platform they are getting instantly slowed and because of that they become real easy pickings anyways guys that's my frost freeze mage build and until next time like comment and subscribe and peace